everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and I typically do videos about food and recipes and a healthy lifestyle, but I've had some requests to do like a September favorites video or a favorites video in general, so I decided to start in September. So here we go. This is my very first one. I have done like a food empties video, so I will be showing you a few like food finds for the month, but um, I've had some requests about this, so let's get started. This is my new one, so be kind in the comments. I mean, this is my first one, I should say. So this is my first one, so please be kind in the comments as I kind of get in the habit of sharing my favorite things for the month. So we're going to start out with beauty, and if I'm looking down at all, it's because I just have my notes here just so I don't forget anything. And so let's get into beauty. So I did buy a couple new palettes this month and I was really excited about them because I think the very first thing I started watching when I first like discovered YouTube were beauty videos and then I, you know, then I discovered the other ones which is what made me start my channel. But um, I have, I'm like narrowed it down to pretty much just three or four beauty channels that I watch on a regular basis. The rest of them just got a little bit crazy. But one I always watch is Emily Noel 83 and she came out with a collaboration with this uh, Makeup Revolution. So I bought both of her palettes. This one's the Wants palette. And this one is the Needs palette. That's what this one looks like. So I use these pretty much every day. It's kind of made me rediscover makeup again. This one was only 20 and I believe this one was 15. So definitely a good price, but um, I'm loving these, having fun kind of doing makeup and just trying out new looks and stuff. So I love those palettes. I will put links to everything I mentioned in the description box. So I'll put a link to the, that. I just bought it on the website. I think you can get them at Ulta, but I don't have an Ulta here, so I think you can order them probably on their website too, but anyway, I ordered right from the company is where I ordered them. Um, next thing in beauty, I actually, one of my friends um, sent me this, Krista, and I have been using this every day. This is Trader Joe's Rose Water Facial Toner. I don't know if it does what it says it's going to do. What it, It's just, you just spray it on your face. Um, I just do it before it says hydrate and refresh. I just love the smell of it and my face has been looking pretty good. So I don't know. I really like it. So I suppose you can get that at Trader Joe's. I have no idea how much it costs or anything because I didn't get it. I didn't buy it, but um, we don't have a Trader Joe's really close to us. So I only get up there like every few months. But anyway, I definitely would repurchase this if I saw it again. You guys know how much I love the Teamy Tea products, and they do have some beauty products as well. So I had a lot of people ask me if I'd ever tried them, and I hadn't. So I went ahead and um, got a couple of them so I could try them. And I got the Teamy Glow, which this is is tea infused oil. This one has rose and cinnamon. So the way I use this one is in the mornings after I wash my face and after I put my moisturizer on, I put this on. And I'll tell you guys, my face is so, it is so soft and I really do notice um, a difference with this. Like my fine lines aren't as bad. I don't know, it's just, it's just really interesting because I never would ever use an oil before because when I was growing up, my face was very oily and I didn't have acne really except for just, you know, hormonal acne just at you know, certain times of the month or when I was stressed out. Um, which I still get that occasionally. So I always, you know, was afraid to use oil, just afraid that that would happen. But as I've gotten older, my skin has gotten super dry. And also I think since I was diagnosed with um, hypothyroidism, I think that as well has made my skin really dry. So I use this every single day and I absolutely love it. And then the newest one I've gotten, I got this about mid month. So I've only been using it for the last two weeks. It's the Teamy Soothe. I use, so how I use this is after I take my makeup off in the evening, um, I put this on my face um, after I put my night moisturizer on, then I put this on. And this one is infused with lavender and sage, and it also is infused with an um, essential oil that helps with sleeping. And lavender also is a, um, you know, a calming thing. So that's why I put this on before I go to bed because it really has, it just really relaxes me. The scent of it um, really relaxes me. So I think it's kind of the same as essential oils, but 
Um, again, this makes my skin like really soft and supple, which I really, really like. And the last beauty thing is kind of a renewed old favorite. I used to use CeraVe all the time. Kind of got really in the bad habit of only using makeup, you know, like makeup remover wipes just to wash my face. Wasn't doing any really deep you know cleaning and again as I've been getting older and noticing lines in my face and noticing a change in my just my face in general as far as you know that like I was saying you know with the dryness and all that I thought you know what I definitely this is the time I really need to start taking care of my face so I started purchasing this again in um, beginning of this month so this is the foaming facial cleanser I think I purchased it in August but I really started using it really good when I started using these other oils and stuff um, but you guys, this stuff is good. It's a little bit spendy, but I think it's worth it. And it really does get deep down, you know. And I use their moisturizer as well. So those are all the beauty products. Again, if you have any questions about any of them, let me know. And again, I will have links in the description box. Okay, so let's move on to food and drink products. Let's see, where do I start? So I only have a, just a few. I mean, I could go on and on and on with all my, you know, food finds for the month. But I'm just going to kind of just show some things that I've been really loving lately um so chai tea that's one thing i've been really loving i did do a whole video on making chai tea concentrate and making chai tea lattes my favorite tea for making um chai tea concentrate is definitely the stash double spice chai i like to get anytime like any of the chai teas that say ultra spice or double spice those are the ones i like to use for concentrate because it really gives you a really good base for your chai tea lattes. Now I love, also just love chai tea in general, just not to drink with any kind of cream or anything. And for that, I really like the Teamy Chai. Um, this is such high quality tea, you guys. It is really super good. Um, but I like this um, to just drink for a cup. And also I use this in a recipe, which I will mention here when I get to my recipe video, but I did use this in a recipe that turned out really well. So tea is not only for drinking, you guys. You can use it in recipes too, which I just kind of thought about and discovered. Um, another thing I'm loving is the matcha tea, but I don't love it at, by itself in just a matcha. I'll roll here a little clip of me making um, my kind of my new weekend protein drink which has been a matcha tea smoothie with, where I put like cherries and berries and um, chia seeds and protein powder and then some of this matcha tea. Um, it's to me, it's just better. I, the very first time I tried this, I, I liked it as kind of a colder drink, but matcha is definitely an acquired taste. It really is. I know one thing that you definitely need to do is make sure you get a high quality matcha. And that makes a difference because I did try some years ago when a matcha was first kind of coming out or you're first hearing about it and it um, just was not good. Well, then I was kind of looking some stuff up on the one I bought and apparently it was a cheap one, which it was because I didn't really know anything about it. But then when I got this one from Timi, it actually, this is, this is not bad, but it's still just not, not my cup of tea. It's really corny. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> but... Um, it is good in smoothies, though, and then you're still getting the benefits of matcha. So there's a lot of matcha out there. I know you can get a lot on um, Amazon, too, so just make sure it's like a good grade. This is ceremonial grade. I don't know all the different grades, but kind of do some research on it. But matcha really is super good for you. So if you don't like the taste of it, kind of like I don't, put it in a smoothie, then you're still getting the benefits, and you still get a little bit of that kind of matcha taste, the green tea taste. I love green tea, but this is really green tea. Another food f favorite, which I don't have the right flavor, but it's um, the Maple Nut RX Bar. And then I'll put a little picture right up here. Um, but also the Pumpkin Spice Matcha, I mean, Matcha Bar. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the um, Pumpkin Spice RX Bar, which I finally found last week. And this is really good, but I, I have to say, I really thought that this Pumpkin Spice would like be my all-time favorite. But the maple, maple, I keep saying maple nut, but I think it's just maple sea salt. So good. Again, I'll put a picture up here. I love those. Now, I do like these ones, but that maple one, so good. So I have been enjoying these um, quite a bit lately. I've been having them two or three times a week. Um, they are high in smart points, but I feel like the ingredients are just super clean. Um, another thing that I kind of just discovered a couple weeks ago is turkey jerky. Oh my gosh, where have I been? Like, I had no idea that it was low in points, such a good protein snack, low in sugar, low in fat, 
Um, this was one that actually that I found at Grocery Outlet, which was amazing. I have no idea. This is called Think Jerky, and it's free-range turkey jerky. I don't know where else you can find it. I haven't looked on Amazon yet. I'm sure I can find it there. I've looked at all my stores in the last couple weeks, but I haven't been able to find it. So instead, I did pick up the um, Jack Links. I don't know. The other, like, jerky brand out there. And it's good, too. But this stuff is really good. So if you can find this one, I definitely recommend this one. But turkey jerky in general, wow, I cannot believe that I had not had that before. And you all know this was going to be in here. So this is my favorite coffee by far for a holiday blend. Now, the holiday blend, I think that's what it's called, that Starbucks comes out in um, around Christmas time, it's really good too, and I'll be picking up a bunch of that. But the fall blend, I look forward to this every single year, this hearty with spice notes. It, it is a medium roast so good I know I talk about it a lot but for me it's just something that I look forward to every year but I am I do like strong coffee and it is kind of a stronger coffee but um, you could probably weaken it a little bit but anyway you all knew that was gonna be there um, kind of another one I've been enjoying on the weekends is kind of an old favorite that I used to have a long time ago and that's the egg white and turkey sausages I bought these a couple weeks ago and I've been having these on the weekends um, you guys don't see a lot what I eat on the weekends because I don't really have a lot of structured meals. I need to do another like kind of weekend eats video for you guys so you can kind of see where, what I've been eating on the weekends. But anyway, I love these. I believe they're like four smart points, um, but they're the egg white and turkey sausage. They're like in a pocket sandwich, so yummy. So I think that, the, oh wait, one more food thing, another seasonal thing. The pumpkin spice Quaker oats. Yes, these are like five points and it's a small packet. I mix this with yogurt. I really like the Dandelion Fit pumpkin pie yogurt and I mix these two together. But this is really high points and instant oatmeal doesn't keep me as satisfied. So I am going to be making some like rolled oat um, oatmeal cups this weekend and to kind of try that out and see how that works and that way it'll keep me fuller longer but this pumpkin spice is really really good it's really really flavorful so it did not disappoint that's for sure now we're going to jump into what my favorite recipes have been for the month i'm going to start off first with kind of my seasonal favorites so my chai tea latte I'll, again, I'll have all these linked in the description box. The chai tea latte and chai tea concentrate, yum, definitely if you are into fall. I really jumped into fall as soon as September hit. I, it's just my favorite time of year, my favorite season. I love the colors. I love the flavors. It normally cools down, which it did for just a little bit, but now it's been back up in the 90s again, but, you know, that's Oregon for you. So, but I did just jump ahead first and feed in first, whole body in first into September. It was fall all the way. So I really have been indulging in a lot of fall recipes, um, just really been doing a lot of experimenting. So I have the chai tea latte, which has been my absolute favorite. Um, definitely another favorite were the chai, pumpkin chai tea muffins. That's what I used the um, teamy chai tea with. Oh, so good, you guys, they were so good. Um, you definitely have to try those. Um, and they, I stuffed them with cream cheese. And I did give you a couple tips in that video to make it just a little bit better with the cream cheese. And then today, this morning, I will be posting um, skinny mug cakes. I've been enjoying those two on the weekends. So good. Just such a, just a fun little treat. It's really super good. So those were some of my favorite kind of like dessert or snack recipes. Definitely my favorite like dinner type recipes have been the minestrone soup. You guys, that soup was so good. So, so good. That was just amazing. So you have to try that soup. I really like the jalapeno popper chicken I made. Really, really like the turkey chili that I made for lunches one day. So those are some of my favorite recipes I had for the month. I read four books. I'm not halfway through the fifth book, which I may finish. Actually, I probably will finish before the end of this month. So I will mention that one also. But I've read four books, and I will have each of a, a picture of each of them right here, and also have them linked in the description box. I read mostly kind of thriller. I like true crime. I like thriller. I like suspense and mystery. Every once in a while, for like I would I call a palate cleanser after I've had so many really like intense, you know, thriller suspenseful ones, I'll throw in like a just kind of a like. I don't know, romance, but not like a romance, but more like a, what usually are made into like romantic comedy movies. So they're kind of like, you know, those kind of, kind of books. Um, but lately I've been really just, just loving as usual, the suspenseful books. So the first one was called Jar of Hearts. 
that was the most recent one I finished. Um, the Wife Between Us, The Flight Attendant, and then she was gone. So those are the four that I've completed. The one I'm reading right now is called The Wife, and I'm about halfway through. Um, I lo really liked all of these. Probably, the, I think I gave five stars. When I say stars, I go. I have Goodreads is what I use to rate my books, and I think I gave five stars to all of these except for Then She Was Gone. It started out so amazing, but then it kind of, at towards the end, is where I kind of went to the four stars. I'm pretty strict when it comes to rating books, so if you follow me on Goodreads and whatever ratings I give, it really is, I have like kind of like a high criteria for my books, but I have enjoyed all of those books, so I am a kind of looking, I did give myself a goal for fall. I do fall goals, and I did give myself a goal to read a couple of nonfiction books and like maybe more motivational books. I have not done that yet. I, I need to do that because I really feel like I need to, you know, kind of dive out into different um, genres of books. But I do read a wide variety of fiction books, but nonfiction, I, it's always been a little bit harder for me to get into unless they are true crime books. But um, I am going to look for, so if you have any suggestions, I have a list of suggestions that you guys made on my Fall Goals video, but any suggestions of any nonfiction books that are like motivating and uplifting and kind of self-care and that kind of thing, let me know because I would love to read those. So I will list all these books that I read down below. Um, clothing items, really the only clothing items I've been really enjoying, like I said, I jumped right into fall, have been really long cardigans. I've never had a long cardigan before until recently. And when I say long, I mean like past my knee. And I've just been really enjoying them a lot. Um, so that's one of the things that I have been enjoying as far as that is just really the weather hasn't changed a lot here so really my clothing hasn't changed a lot and I have discovered um, one new YouTube channel I'm trying I'll try to like report to you guys kind of ones that are new to me new channel I mean those aren't new by any means but they're new to me that way you guys you know if you want to branch out into some other channels and I do typically really stick to kind of my own YouTube community, um, just kind of weight loss and healthy lifestyle community. And I don't really only watch Weight Watchers just because that's the plan I follow. I have some really good friends out there that do keto or just do intuitive eating or do, you know, just do other things. Um, I support all of them. I feel like we're kind of all one community, even though, you know, one may do Weight Watchers, one may do keto, completely different healthy lifestyles. But, um, I just I support all of them because they've all been very supportive of me and I don't know I just like to watch different things and you never know where your life may turn and you may need to turn to one of them for some support or some ideas um, but I was trying to find one of my goals also for the fall is to do some stretching and things like that and just meditation not really meditation but just more like um, just more mindfulness and I've heard that stretching is really good and just kind of breathing and those kind of things. I guess maybe it is kind of meditation. I don't know. I haven't done a lot. Like I said, I just kind of set my fall goals a few weeks ago. But in that kind of research, I discovered a channel and her name is Megan Livingstone, I believe. I will have her linked in the description box. She's a holistic nutritionist dietitian. And so it's, she, I, she had this whole video on like stretching and she does a lot. I mean, and her voice is just so calming. So I'm really glad I stumbled across her channel. I don't know her or anything. Um, I just, like I said, I just happened to stumble across it. So I don't know anything about her. I believe she's Canadian. That is one thing I'm pretty sure I gathered from the few videos I've watched of her. So anyway, I will have her linked in the description box. Um, and lastly, I think I'm going to talk about, um, some apps that I found and I don't know, do people talk about this in, oh no, let's first talk about TV shows. Um, then I'll get to the apps cause I'm going to show you pictures of the apps up here. So my favorite TV shows, well, Criminal Minds, I've always been a favorite, but I finished what they have on Netflix. Why is season 13 not on there yet? Typically the newest season will pop up on there, but I finally finished all 12 seasons of it on Netflix. Love that channel because again, tr crime stuff is like my thing. Um, and then I, then I, when that was over, I had nothing to watch. And so I discovered Outlander. <sighs> that was so easy to get sucked into that show, you guys. Um, I have kind of tapered off a little bit because I've been trying to get myself not to watch TV shows during the weekdays. In the evenings, be, I've been trying to read more. It's just I find I sleep better when I read versus watching TV shows. Um, I will watch a few YouTube videos and then I read for the rest of the night. But on the weekends is when I've been watching Outlander and 
I love that. I'm on season two, so again, I'm just watching it very slowly. Um, I, I know the new season coming out. I don't know when it's coming out, but I know that there's a new one coming out. So I am just slowly going through it because I really like it and I really, and I also, I don't know, I like, I never paid attention to history really in school because it wasn't like my thing at all. And now when I'm watching it, I tend, I find myself like stopping the show and Googling stuff to kind of look at the history of stuff because it's really interesting. So anyway, those are the shows I've been enjoying. Now apps. Like again, I don't know if people normally like show apps on their favorite videos, but I'm going to do it. So I do like to play word games and I just, I don't know, it's like kind of like a thing that I do when um, I'm... I don't know, you're waiting for something or like just to kind of the end of my lunch hour or something. Um, but I found discovered one called Word Link. I will put a little like screenshot of it up here. Really like that one. It's just kind of a, you know, that gives you a bunch of letters and you have to find words out of the letters. That's what it is. So really loving that. Um, I really love this new grocery list app that I found and it's really helpful where I can just throw things on there when I think about things that I need when I'm not at home. We have a list where you can kind of see right here on the refrigerator that we write things on then we run out here but it's like when I'm out at work I've just been writing them on a sticky I throw them in my purse it's like oh I need to remember to do that or I've been making a notepad on my phone but I really like this grocery list app so I think it's just called any list is what it's called. Um, and also I have a daily quote app that I really like. That's what I use for my daily quotes. And then lastly, which I've talked a lot about, I know, um, is the Walk at Home app that I've started, that I found with Leslie Sansone. So you pay $4.99 a month and you get a workout every single day. And you can do whatever workout you want. So they give you a whole entire month snapshot. So you can, so what I have to do is I have to pick the one that fits into my schedule. So the weekends I can do the longer ones, the weekdays I can do the shorter ones. I love it. I think it's, and you have a free 30 day trial. So try it out and see if it's something that you want to do. I've heard, a, I, I can't watch it on my TV because there's no app with Amazon Fire TV. That's what I have. Um, I don't have like a smart TV. I They say you can do it on a smart TV, but I've heard a lot of people tell me they've had some barriers with that, but I just do it on my iPad and it works just fine on there. And you can also do it on your desktop. There's a desktop app you can download and you can do it on your desktop or laptop, that kind of thing. So love it, love it, love it, love it. And then through here, through uh, the last part of this video, I'm just going to pop up some of my favorite quotes that I've found for the month and that'll be it. So there you go guys, those are some of my favorite things for the month of September. I really had a lot of fun doing this video and kind of thinking about things that I enjoyed through the month, so I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Give me a thumbs up if you want me to do, to do more of these, and I definitely will start doing these every month. I'll just have to start taking notes as I go throughout the month so I don't have to scramble and think about some things, So, which I just thought of two more things. So let me show you a new favorite cup for the month is this new kind of it says like sweater weather on there that's a new favorite and then of course my hello fall cup i did forget like a couple things so there you go there are my favorites for the month of september let me know some of your favorites for the month of september and i will see you on the next video bye guys